morning and welcome to Monday Minutes with Kelly and Jesse. My name is Kelly. And my name is Jesse. And this week we are going to talk to you about some of the search options that you have on the staff client. There are a lot of great tips and tricks out there and we're going to show you two of our favorites. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, the first one is when you're at the main page or anywhere where you have this search bar, there is the ability here outside of just doing a keyword search in this basic search. Although right now all it shows is this big long bar. It says enter search keywords, search the catalog, but there is actually something you can add through system preferences. <laughs> Show us Kelly. <laughs> it's so exciting. We were just talking about how we've seen up sites not using this and it seems like um, you should. So it's called internet, intranet catalog search pull down. So if it's set to don't show, hit it to show and then hit save. And somebody was just asking me the other day that what is intranet? They thought I meant the internet, but intranet in Koha is the staff side. So whenever you see a system preference that says intranet, it's focused on the staff side of things. Um, there is actually one that's called OPAC catalog search pull down as well. Okay, so let's go back. Remember to hit save and look at this. Perfect. So now you have a lot more ability to search from this main search bar, your regular Google search, but you can go ahead and do title as a phrase or look for an author or um, call number or whatever. Now, this is a silly one to me because most of the time if you put a barcode in there, it's still gonna search, but it does. it is listed here. So this is good, right? This is great. You know, this came out a few releases ago, but it's one that a lot of people don't know. It's set to don't show by default in your system preferences. So again, just a really nice um, option to turn on that will help with some of your staff search from the back end. Mm -hmm. Yep. Perfect. All right, Kelly, let's talk about the second one that we love. And okay. that is the item search. Mm -hmm. So at the very top in your static bar, you do have this item search, which maybe you've never even noticed that it exists. Right. So it looks a little bit like your advanced search, but you have some different features, which once you realize what you can do with this search, your mind's going to be blown. Ready for it? What should we search, Jesse? My favorite is like in processing or on order, because this is the quickest and easiest way to say, okay, show me everything that I have an item that's marked in processing. So I can go and make sure I didn't miss anything, um, right. anything that's stale. And in, in reality, this is like a Koha report. So it is really an easy way to get some information without writing an SQL report or going to find that report. Oh, you got excited for something because I love using this for that aspect because at the bottom you can output it as a CSV file. So if you need to do some, you know, look at your uh, titles and a spreadsheet or as a barcodes file, and then you can take it right into the tools module and do a batch modification. So the items search has so many powerful options in it. And a lot of times people forget that it's there. Oh, I have one more thing we should show. Okay. So let's go ahead and do this search just going to hit this search. We picked status of in-processing test site. Who knows what's here? Perfect. We have 61. 61. Perfect. Um, one of the, the things that I love about this is I could search it and then export it. So I don't need to make the decision upon looking at my re results. I may say, okay, this is what I want to grab for my CSV or this is what I want for my barcode file, which will be helpful, helpful in batch item modification. Yep. So grab the barcode file. But one more thing that I love is you have a quick way to get to the barcode, which a lot of the other searches in Koha, you do not get a barcode on that first go. Yeah, that's right. Pretty express, pretty fun. And I know we didn't talk about this, Jesse, but one more thing. So should I just show what it looks like? I can do yeah, that. Let's absolutely. See what, like, what my computer decides to do. Oh, there you go. Perfect. Probably, I'm going to see if this is there. There we go. That's what I love about LibreOffice is I can choose the, the space, what is it called, the formatting? So there you go, there's my CSV list. Awesome. Um, okay, so let me hit the back button really quick. 
I didn't mean to go back that far. There is one more search, Jesse, that we probably should show. And do you know that you can add a search here? And I bet we weren't gonna talk about this because I didn't remember until now, but you can add a search. If there's something you're always searching and it's not an easy way or if you have a report, you can add something to this drop down menu. Do you remember how to do that, Jesse? I do. Let's go into administration. Administration. And then over on the right hand side under cataloging, we'll have those item search fields. Item search fields. So you could go ahead and what if you wanted to look up your OC, OCLC number, the 35? Yep, the 035, exactly. That's, this is a popular one that a lot of people do add in. Um, oops, label, OCLC. Mark field. So you can go, I'm gonna look right into my mark for this information. Do you know what sub, is it? Is there a sub field? It's A. It's A, okay. Go ahead, submit it. And now we're going to go back. You know, what else this is a good one for the custom search fields? Like if there was something in your item record where you were using a field, maybe you were using like the inventory control number field or something like that. That's a good one to add in here. Like a lot of times people will bring that number over from their old ILS, yep. you know, no matter what it is. Like this is a good place to add those options in. Yeah. So you have, we've given you, uh, ooh, let me grab this. We've given you a new drop down. If you don't have this turned on, this is an easy system preference, intranet catalog search pull down. We've introduced you to the item search maybe. I mean, this is my favorite search. Second is advanced search because you can narrow in what you're looking for, but yep. item search is super fun as well. Awesome. Cool. Okay, well, thanks, Jesse. Hey, we were going to say um, something. Oh, that Koha is having a bug squashing day in February. So be on the lookout for an announcement from Monday Minutes. And happy Valentine's Day coming up. <laughs> I know, really bug squashing on Valentine's Day. <laughs> Okay. Have a great week, Jesse. Have a great week, Kelly. See you next week. Bye. Bye.